DJI Mini 3 Pro is the most advanced drone out there under 250 grams limit, but is it worth 2.5 times more money over DJI Mini SE? I'm not sure. Let's find out. What's good guys, my name is Alek Nikitin and you're watching No Limits On channel, so let's dive deep into the comparison and step by step decide if the Mini 3 Pro worth that much cash. Starting with image sensors. DJI Mini 3 Pro has one over 1.28 inch sensor and 48 megapixels versus 1 over 2.3 inch sensor and 12 megapixel on Mini SE, so you'll get sharper photos from the Mini 3 Pro and slightly better low-light performance with Pro Drone. Mini 3 Pro has 24mm lens and f1.7, which is great, versus also 24mm and f2.8 lens on the SE, so we'll have the same field of view but better low-light of course. To be honest, I wouldn't shoot at night with any of those drones with less than 1 inch sensor. DJI Mini 3 Pro can shoot video up to 4K 60 frames per second, but there is no HDR mode after 30p. HDR mode combines two ISO values and you get better image in good lighting conditions. In low light, it's doing the bad job. Versus DJI Mini SE has only 2.7K up to 30 frames per second and only 40 megabits per second bitrate and also 1080p up to 60 frames a second. I don't recommend using 60p due to soft image. I didn't find the low bitrate on Mini SE to be a problem, as you can see the shots look pretty decent considering its price and a tiny sensor. So now let's talk image quality. After watching a dozen of reviews and sample footage from DJI Mini 3 Pro, I can say that the image is still looking over sharpened and it reminds me of Mini 2 or even the original Mavic Pro. The main issue is that it's still 8-bit footage and the sensor is still relatively small. In my opinion, this footage is much worse than you can get with DJI Air 2S for example with its 1-inch sensor, 10-bit color and 5.4K resolution. So if you want to get the best image quality for the least cash, Air 2S is still the king. Mini 3 Pro's image is ok, but I wouldn't use it for any commercial work only for vlogging and home archive. And if I would choose a drone for work, I would get Air 2S, Mavic 2 Pro or Mavic 3. That's just the way it is guys, don't expect crazy good image quality from the Mini 3 Pro. By the way guys, tell me in the comments what's the most important factor for you in a drone. Great image quality or the weight under 250 grams limit. For the first time in DJI drones, Mini 3 Pro's gimbal has true vertical camera orientation for stories, TikTok, YouTube shorts, etc. Which is a handy feature because it's now getting more and more popular. Speaking of gimbals, I had no issues whatsoever with Mini SE 3-axis gimbal, you still get perfectly smooth shots. Also DJI Mini 3 Pro has 40 degrees of upper tilt for creative shots, whereas Mini SE has only 20 degrees, so I do enjoy those types of shots and they open a lot of creative capabilities. Mini 3 Pro has two color modes, the normal and the decent alike, which is still 8-bit, so it's not giving you a huge boost and I would still recommend shooting in standard mode to avoid color banding on the sky for instance. And on the other hand, Mini SE has only the standard color option. Let's talk obstacle avoidance. Mini 3 Pro has rear, front and bottom sensors, which is great for this tiny and lightweight drone. Mini SE has only the downward sensors for landing, so you gotta be careful. But also you have to keep in mind that a ton of good drone shots contains moving sideways, so you gotta keep an eye on the Mini 3 Pro as well, since it lacks side sensors. Smash the like bottle if you do take a lot of sideways shots with your drone. DJI Mini 3 Pro is slightly faster in ascending, descending and the top max speed, but this difference is not that dramatic. A few words about smart features, Mini 3 Pro has a ton of those. So focus track, we have active track 4.0, spotlight 2.0 and point of interest 3.0. Great modes. Also, it has master shots as in DJI Air 2S, so you can get a big variety of shots basically doing nothing. The drone will make everything for you. We have a time lapse mode and hyperlapse videos, 180 degrees panorama mode, wide angle, vertical, and sphere, and a bunch of quick shots drony, helix, rocket, circle, boomerang, and asteroid. Mini SE has only some quick shots, as you can see from this example, so the Mini 3 Pro is winning in this category. The battery life is stated as 34 minutes with standard battery and up to 47 minutes with extra capacity battery on the Mini 3 Pro. You can buy this extra capacity battery separately, but remember guys, those times are only in laboratory conditions. 
The real usable flight time is more like 25 minutes on a standard battery and 35 minutes on a bigger one. Mini SC on the other hand brings you around 23 to 25 minutes of usable flight time, so it's more or less the same with standard batteries. And the biggest difference in my opinion is the remote and the flight range and signal stability. Mini SE has a small plastic remote which has very poor range and signal, so basically 500 meters or even less in the city is the limit for this drone. And you have to keep the line of sight with the Mini SE. I would say that the Mini SE is a drone on a leash. Mini 3 Pro has much bigger remote which reduces the portability a bit, but you do get a beautiful and stable image transfer and crazy operating distances up to 12 kilometers without any obstacles between you and the drone, of course. But it's more of a marketing thing since uh, 3 kilometers is a very rare distance most pilots operate a drone. At least I don't fly that far often. So if you do know that you'll need to fly beyond 500 meters and you want to keep your nerves safe due to no losses of signal, go for Mini 2 or Mini 3 Pro. But if you are okay with shorter distances, Mini SE is a great value for money. And now the most interesting part, it is the price. DJI Mini SE retails for only $300 on official DJI's website and around for $50 to $500 if you want to get the Fly More combo kit with 3 batteries and a very nice case. DJI Mini 3 Pro has a lot of options to choose from. Only the drone without the remote will cost you $670, with the basic remote DJI RSN1 $760, so it's 2.5 times more expensive than the Mini SE base kit. And also there is an option to get the DJI RC remote with 700 nits built-in screen for $909. Which is pretty expensive in my opinion, because for only 90 bucks more you can get the base kit of Air 2S, which is a much superior drone and I just loved using it. Of course it's more than 250 grams and you can have some issues with the drone regulations in different countries, but if we consider the image quality and overall features, I would hands down go for Air 2S. Also we have two options of fly more combos for Mini 3 Pro with two extra standard batteries, charging hub and a bag for $190 and with two flight batteries plus, which will allow you to fly around 10 minutes longer on each battery for $250. So if we compare the standard batteries fly more combo and standard remote for Mini 3 Pro for $950 in total and $450 for fly more combo with Mini SE, Mini 3 Pro is still two times more expensive. And if we'll go all in with Mini 3 Pro, you'll end up at $1160, which is almost the price of DJI Air 2S Fly More Combo, which by the way has the ND filters pack in the kit. And the ND filters are not included with the Mini 3 Pro Fly More Combo. So guys, let's conclude. There are three key scenarios that will impact your buying decision. First, if you are on a tight budget, I cannot justify paying 2.5x more money for Mini 3 Pro, especially if it's your very first drone or you just want to take it with you for a trip three times a year. Second scenario, if you do care about image quality and want to get the remote with a screen. In this case, I would pick DJI Air 2S for almost the same cash. Trust me, the image quality differences is big and you won't regret buying Air 2S. And overall, the iPhone for instance is much brighter and a better screen in my opinion than the built-in one. Third, if you absolutely need a drone under 250 grams and money is not an issue. For this particular case, DJI Mini 3 Pro is the best drone on the market and you will hardly find a better mini drone. I hope I'll get an opportunity to review the Mini 3 Pro myself, but as for now, it's pretty hard to get it, unfortunately. So what's your opinion, guys? Which drone would you prefer? Mini SE, Mini 3 Pro or even Air 2S? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Here is a couple of videos for you to watch next. My name is Alek Nikitin, no limits on channel and I see you guys in the next video. Take care, bye.